Hi, welcome to this uh, system here. It's an uh, early edition of July 2019, and the video is about NeoFetch and this new logo that we have. Let's start maybe with a tip or two about NeoFetch. First of all, NeoFetch is not from Arch Linux, it's just an application, and it tends to break your uh, images in here, and that's normal. If you click outside, it's even gone. So tip is, if you wanna have wanna make a screenshot, well, don't move it about. Don't don't touch anything. Do a screenshot right now. You can do this, this, but you click here, it's gone. So the tip is the developer of NeoFetch made something called loop. It means it's going to keep on looping from one uh, image, one rendering to the other. We can't see it, but once we click here, we see that indeed something happened and he's going to loop, so it's coming back. So that's a great tip for, to start off. Now, NeoFetch is a application and inside .config we have a folder called NeoFetch. And of course it's coming in via Arch Linux NeoFetch configuration file. And it's going first in etc scale, you know the drill, do watch some videos about scale, what it's all about but it's never going to be installed on your home directory. It's always in etc scale, and then you decide if you get in the new stuff on your home directory. Inside NeoFetch are all kinds of logos, and we have now five new logos, thanks to the developer ZVR43, I think, or was it 34, on Discord. So thanks to him, we have this beautiful, beautiful, beautiful logo, right? I'm very happy with that. Now, if we want to switch up our configuration, you need to change two files. In the beginning, it says this is the original file. It was called logo, and this is called not ASCII, but config. So if you switch these two around, this is what you generally get. And this is the ASCII code, which is great. And it always works on all 13, 15, 20 desktops. This will ever, always work, this ASCII code. Right. Once you go to different kind of uh, desktops uh, managers, then you'll probably get some changes, see some differences. And if you want to have a logo, if you say, no, this is not my thing, I'd rather have something else, then the easiest way is actually to tell, to rename this guy to ASCII code, right? ASCII config and the logo config to this one. Now, if you want to learn about the code, you always compare. And then you see that indeed this difference is here. This one, it says use ASCII and this one, it says don't use ASCII. Here it says don't use images and here it says use images. So here are all the differences, everything that's blue. Okay, so when I do Ctrl T, you get this white one. Why? Because that's the standard one. Standard one is the white one just a choice but you can choose something else just by changing hashtag deleting one adding one actually you can always it's the last one that's always going to rule since here is no hashtag in front of it so if I say let's delete a few whoops like so right so the last one wins as the blue one when I put the hashtag in front of here Control S, Control T, that's the white one that wins. CSS, CSS, last one wins. Oops, what's that? Control S should have been, Control T, that's the bronze one. Yep. Let's go to them. Control T, silver one. golden one and we're back to the white one so it's that easy to change your looks of course you can change lots of other things but then there are other tutorials for that already on articlelinks.com so check it out so you see it's 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 gone once you click somewhere but it keeps on there now we should make a screenshot and everything will be just fine okay that's um, I think the basics of NeoFetch, that's um, what you need to know with this new update you just got in 1st of July 2019.
Tschüss.